It's a visual. The toilet on the International Space Station destroys the International Space Station. It's design spec. Not many even wanted to go there. But surprisingly one rolled his sleeves up and went, let's have it, as he chose to defend the International Space Station and the ridiculous toilet that gives the game away. We'll put aside Dan's dishonesty where he only addresses what I said in one video and not two. Does that to misrepresent me? Just to give himself some content. Pathetic son. We'll put that aside and we'll just look at what this man's defence of the toilet on the International Space Station is. For number two, the principle is actually exactly the same section. We have a solid waste container here and on top of it is this uh, seat. Uh, and the solid waste container is connected via this hose to the same fan so that, again, the same suction effect allows you to do your number two in weightlessness. I want to show you how it looks, but since we don't want any bad smells uh, to come out, we're going to actually turn on the fan. It's going to be a little bit loud. There we go. Now you can lift the lid. And there is this... Uh, seat that sort of looks comfortable but you don't really see it in, in, sit in weightlessness so uh, most of us actually prefer to lift this one as well and use directly the, the opening that goes into the bag and in fact there is a so they've got a direct opening that goes into a bag but she claimed this thing works on suction what so the hoovers of old didn't have bags in them well it can can it if it's a bag that your bottom sits over and does his business on. Now, Level Earth Observer is definitely of an age where he used to use vacuum cleaners that had bags in. The concept is not hard to understand. Like this. Strange boy. So Simon Dan citing an old school vacuum cleaner as proof that this toilet works. Should we have a look at the mechanisms of the vacuum cleaners from back in the day? <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> So this is a cutaway of an old school vacuum. You can see the air coming in, being sucked into the bag from the left, coming into the bag. The air leaves the bag through the filter, leaving all the crap, dust and whatever actually in the bag. And the air that's left through the filter then goes out through a vent, actually leaving the vacuum itself. Okay? Dan's not really thought this through, has he? Let's just look at the bag a bit more. With our business, we close the bag and we push it down into the solid waste container. And then, of course, as a courtesy to the next person, we put a new fresh bag inside. So, this bag that they sit above apparently and do their business in only has one opening. Think about that only one opening. And that opening is obviously the opening that's beneath you when you're sat on the toilet. So a vacuum is impossible unless you've got the suction device attached to the bag. It's not, is it? So it doesn't work, does it? That shows you how ridiculously stupid Simon Dan is. So Simon Dan cited an old school vacuum cleaner as proof of the International Space Station was real. <laughs> and all it did was actually suck the dreams, delusions and fantasies of globe believers and space fans away. The toilet, ladies and gentlemen, of the International Space Station destroys space. Have a good one, everyone.